And Sergeant Watts is just one of the officers who've passed away from COVID here locally. Over the course of the pandemic, COVID has become the leading cause of death for law enforcement on our first coast. And what you're seeing here, these are seven of the first responders the virus has killed just in the past month alone. Now, while serving the public, first responders put themselves at high risk, we know, and it's something that they accept as part of the job, maybe even subconsciously, they are that dedicated. But every time someone dies, officials say it's kind of like a wake up call. On your side, Tristan Hardy has the story. The people are now figuring out, wow, this is a whole nother level of a danger that, that wasn't there before. Yet first responders put themselves at risk every day. Randy Wise with the Firefighters Union knows what it means to be on the front lines. And no matter what's in front of you, you're going to figure out a way to help. Them. So COVID has created that. Well, man, now we have some challenges. Heartbreaking challenges. Recently, one of JFRD's own, Lieutenant Mario Moya, died from COVID-19. Moya served the First Coast for nearly 20 years. I wish, <clears throat> I wish God would have blessed me with a smile like he blessed Mario. And these kind of instances where we lose someone brings back to light of how serious our job is and how dangerous it can be. In the past 16 months, 679 fire service members tested positive for COVID. Plus, they've transported nearly 3,000 patients who contracted the virus. To give you some perspective, Y says there's about 1,600 people serving with JFRD. Probably uh, those on the EMS side are, are exposed or had the, the, the chance of exposure more uh, than probably anybody else. I think that awakens a lot of my members. Ooh, and we're talking, you know, someone close to home has died from it. So I, I think that has increased our vaccinations. While first responders face the danger head on, Wise reminds his members to protect themselves by getting vaccinated. First Coast News reached out to the Fraternal Order of Police about the number of people who died in the front lines to COVID. In a recent statement, the union says it's looking forward to working with our legislative friends locally and in Tallahassee to strengthen protections for our members. I can tell you from personal experience, I've been vaccinated and I got it after I got the vaccination. To Wise, being a first responder means figuring out how to better serve the community. In Jacksonville, Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.